Hello everyone, this is Enzo Hagen of the Alliance for Loki and we just had this big update to the crystal drop rate. Happy April Fool's Day, um, but it is no no trick. It actually really is updated and so I watched a few openings. I watched uh, Dreamin open uh, his, um, his uh, 20 crystals and do really well. And you can see the price is 1750 for 10. So I'm going to open up 100 crystals and we'll see what happens. And so let's get them. Actually, 101 because I have the one from the from the one I get every day. Maybe we won't open that one. So get it now. Let's do this. That's 10 or 11. And we'll keep on adding up until 100. And then we'll go just pop them open and see. I mean... I guess the expected amount would be three six stars, which is pretty incredible considering. So this is 17,000 units, which is, um, which is a lot, but I mean, to get three six stars is, is actually, you know, in the, in the mind of the whale, relatively affordable considering what we've paid for six star shards in the past. So when that deal comes out for, um, for just like the, shards in the stores it was um it was basically 200 us dollars for one six star guaranteed one six star so so this is about the same um if you think of it like that but also um so it's the price you know i've been willing to pay um and if you also think about it it also is um you know you get a lot more shards too this way as well because you have all the other crystals so let's just start popping and see what happens uh see what we get of course you know still a huge pool of six stars but with the with the new features being added they're incredible so zero new and look at that first round that is absolute terribleness um just uh, not even a single five star so the five stars i don't think have gone up in their percentage at all and so but the six stars have and so yeah it's sort of funny the way it's been skewed just towards six stars and so okay uh, so we have to get through this initial round of all these offers but hopefully they will go away and we can just happily pop uh, the next 10, let's see what we get. The next 10 is... Uh, always takes a while for it to process all the popping. Okay, yikes. Yikes, oh boy. Okay, that's 20 crystals and not a single 5-star. We're actually behind the drop rate by a fair amount. Okay, continue. Oh, these offers. Why do they plague me so? Okay, you think I'd have every offer up after the first pop. Okay, the next 10, what will it be? The next 10 is going to be zero no. Okay, at least we got one five star, two five stars, but no six stars as of yet. Okay, so uh, within 30, you think we would have one. I mean, that's not a 100% chance, of course, but, but we are in the realms where we should at least be, hopefully have one soon if we're popping open enough crystals. And now another 10. Okay, zero new, and another five star. Ha, woohoo. That's a really, really good one too, because uh, that means more SIGs, and he's actually my next mutant rank up uh, purely for prestige. That's an incredible six star, um, the six star um, find right there, the sunspot, that's great. So he's SIG 40 now, I believe, yep. That's just, oh man, that's gonna help my prestige so much. And so this is one of the things about this, is that of course, um, of course, being able to, get more six stars easily means yeah huge help for prestige and in, in exactly that type of case like you know there's about five champions that are really helping with my prestige right now and he is definitely going to be one of them okay another five star and that's it so we've gotten one six star and we're halfway through a little bit behind the average um you know we should almost almost are guaranteed well we're practically guaranteed i think it's like a 95 percent chance to get one and it's a almost a short chance to get at least two, but not looking so good right now. Okay, another another five star, and we're 60 in. Be nice to see at least one more six star. If not, uh, then then you know I would say then the um, the deal becomes a little more questionable if we only go get one from so many crystals. You know, the the nice amount would be would be three. Then I feel like it is sort of worth it. But okay, another five star. Two more five stars, okay. It's getting a little scary to only get one six star out of a hundred crystals. It would not feel that good. Um, so hopefully in the last 30, we will get we will get that last six star at least. Maybe two would be nice. Maybe we'll get the double six star. That'd be incredible. So now we're down to 31. 
and woo, there it is. It's a Black Panther Civil War. So again, the pool is big, so you're going to expect a lot of bad six stars. Maybe we have another one lurking around. Oh, look at all these five stars. Those. Okay, this is probably the best pop right here. Uh, three five stars and one six star. You know, that's that's sort of the um, the um, safeguard I think of this whole game though. Right now is the fact that the pool is so big. So it's basically about ten champions I really want in the six star pool. And so, yeah, so the percentage is pretty low to get them, but okay, two is, is right on line with at least what I'd hope I'd get from all these crystals. One more would be really cool though. One more six star would be amazing. And so let's see, I see a five star and, oh wow, lots of five stars. Okay, so I feel like everything's evenly evened out a fair bit by the end of this. And the thing about this is I'm gonna have so many six star shards now too. We'll sort of calculate and see and think about how many six star shards I I receive from this too as well because that's a big part also is of course you know you're getting six stars but you're also getting lots of shards in general and so the final pop oh, are we going to end on a bad note it looks like we are yep so the silver and gold <laughs> is the final 10 and so we'll save the one last one for my stream tonight so but let's think about this of course like the amount of iso i have is like ridiculous now um just so much iso all right there you can see the pops there's Sunspot and Black uh, Panther and one, two, five stars, 3,700. Oh, I got four. I wasn't even looking at the Nexus. So I got four Nexus. Um, and so so that's 3,500 and then 11 max SIG. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to be, uh, so that's another at least 2,500. So we're looking at already um, 6,000 shards plus these four Nexus. So yeah, just the amount of six star shards I've gained too is pretty incredible as well because um, yeah, I mean, that's that's a huge, huge uh, difference. It's basically, I get a bonus six star almost, um, not quite 6,000, yeah, close to a bonus six star every time I, um, I uh, you know, open up this many crystals, if I do it again. But, um, you know, just interesting to see. Um, you know, is this gonna change the game a lot? I think people ask, I might as well add a little bit of editorial here as I just pop over from this. I'll save this for my last, actually I'll save this for my stream tonight. Um, is this new drop rate going to change the game a lot? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. I think, um, I think you know, just like everything, you know, right at the beginning, we sort of have fun opening these crystals. Like I just did, it was sort of interesting to do it and, and see what it was like. But uh, in the end, it's still you know a significant purchase to uh, to to even you know do an opening like this, and so and so I'm just getting max sig crystals here, um, so I don't really think that that people will um, will yeah get that much benefit, and and again the uh, the pool is so big that even if you're sort of on just a normal crystal opener, you get maybe like one or two a month, um, that overall it's not going to um, um change your account too much of course it does gives you more chances of getting that special champion that really is an account changing champion um and of course as you have less six stars you actually have a bigger chance of getting a, a champion that's good for you like you know there's a lot of champions that aren't too meaningful for me like i could pull a six star human torch right now and you know it's great more sigs on him is always nice but his sig ability doesn't really mean that much nor does um he's not going to be one of my prestige champions so even though it's a great pool it's also not too meaningful a pool for me same for if i pulled omega red he's already sig 200 i mean that's actually probably one of the most terrible pools i could get and so so it is sort of interesting the uh you know how my pool of good champions is actually relatively small so so yeah while i can buy a lot it 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 sort of helps me, okay, and now we have these 16 max sigs, and so, yeah, it's, it's just very interesting to think about, you know, the game and where it is. Um, ooh, five star mutant, <laughs> great, <laughs> actually have so many of these that it's actually I'd rather have the shards, so, so 4,000 here, uh, I think I basically had enough now, let me just see what my shards were, I think I was around 5,000 shards, and so, so yeah, I ended up with about 18, um, no, 5,000 shards. I ended up with about 8,000 uh, six hero crystal shards from that. So yeah. So again, that is another big sort of piece of this too, is um, is the amount of shards I get is basically a free, almost a free six star just from the uh, crystal opening. So so yeah, pretty interesting the change in the game. Um, 
I guess my overall thought is it's going to be less less dramatic than it feels. Um, it feels really good to have a better drop rate. Uh, I guess the big thing would be when we have the uh, featured, next featured comes out, especially our featured rerun, if it's really going to be at the 1% rate because that might be pretty game changing when I can actually really, really target a champion I want and know I have a fair, very good chance of, of getting it with, you know, a, a reasonably large crystal opening. And so oh, I wish the I-bomb, we just missed the I-bomb by about two weeks. So on Sunday, he was in, in it for the last time. I opened about 100 crystals, of course, did not get him. And yeah, of course, he's an amazing champion. I'd love him. And, and yeah, we'll just have to see if another featured champ who's worth it comes along to do a big opening. So hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's a little bit long. I just figured I'd add my thoughts at the end. But um, I'm sure I'll see you very soon again for another crystal opening. Bye bye.